Hi everyone, it's Diane. Today's episode is going to be planting the Black Eyed Susan vine. Now this is a vine that I get a lot of questions about and so many love to grow these every year. And we're going to bring you in and show you how to plant them. They're the, one of the most easiest seeds to plant because the seed is fairly good size. And these guys love heat. They love a lot of heat and they love moisture. And I start some now because I like to use some, uh, put some in baskets to show in the greenhouse. So that's why I start them now. I'll start the bedding plant ones a little bit later because they do grow pretty fast and that's what's great about them. Th there's a couple different varieties I'm going to be planting. I'm going to be planting the Blushing Susie and also a new one. It's white with a black eye. I've never grown this one. I hope it's a true white. Uh, we'll see once it gets growing. I can't wait to update you. I'm also going to show you some photos of previous Black Eyed Susan vines that I have done in the past. I also buy plugs that have a larger yellow flower with a black eye. Those are really nice too. And as far as I know, I you can't get I haven't been able to get them from seed. So those are the ones you know I buy as plugs. So let's get started planting the Black Eyed C Susan, also known as Sunbergia. Uh, I guess before I get started, I want to show you some photos of pictures I've taken over the years of the Black Eyed Susan, and we'll do that now. Let's get planning. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing the Blushing Susie. This is a, it's a spectacular climber with blooms that are mostly red with an occasional apricot and ivory accents. They love to be in containers, and I put them in baskets, trellises in the garden, and they can grow up to five foot. These are the seeds. They germinate in seven to ten days usually, and they like a, a germ soil temp of 70 to 75. So keep that in mind. They can actually be grown on a little cooler, but these will be going out in the greenhouse later on in my baskets. So all I need to do here, I'm putting these in six packs because I'm not going to do very many. I'm only going to do 20 seeds of each right now. And like I said, this is the blushing, this is the blushing Susie, Black Eyed Susan. Very beautiful, beautiful one. And I'm just going to put like two or three in each little cell. And, and then I'll transplant them out later on. But this works out really well. I'm just using a soilless peat and uh, perlite soil. It's, it's pretty much on the porous side. And it works great for anything that I start indoors. And I'm just going to make a little indention here. Maybe, you know, when you cover your seed, and I wouldn't even have to do this. I could just press it in the soil. But just like so, and then you want to cover it with about the same depth of the seed. Okay, and basically I'm just going to set them on the soil and kind of press it in just a little bit. And then I'll top it off with some more soil. And I have the soil moist right now. There's getting to be a lot of people that are getting into this, this vine. It is attractive. It blooms all summer. It loves the heat. And as far as long as it gets good, fairly good moisture, it does, seems to do pretty well. Some of these I'll just put one in. I always like to water it in before I top it off with soil. This gets them started. Now I'll mark these so I know which ones they are because they look very similar. I mean, they, they will be very similar. The leaf structure will be very similar. Set them aside mark them off okay the next one is this was a new one very cool next one is just it's, it's, it's a new one that I haven't planted before it's called the white black eyed Susan is it's white with a black eye beautiful uh, the blooms are good size or one and a quarter or one and a half across it says it can reach up to eight foot size of this plant will vary on where you live what kind of region you live in so it may not get as big as it says but you know, it does grow pretty good here in the Midwest. And like I said, it's it's a wonderful, long blooming, blooms all summer long into fall. Actually will bloom up to frost. If you haven't grown Black Eyed Susan Vine, it's so simple to do. And anybody can do this. Water your flats. 
whatever container you're wanting to use because everybody uses different containers and I just I, these inserts I have them on hand these six packs and they work really well for individual plants and also I can put two or three in each and then separate them out later so try to plant some black eyed Susan vines and these guys will be put a place on the heating mat because they need it warmth warmth for germination really speeds up your it really speeds up the germ and also your germ rate will be more successful for some reason you're having trouble with the seeds germinating or your seed count it just hasn't been very good on germinating well it could be you know you need warmth if you got a good sunny window it works well but I I just invested in this heat mat and this has I've never looked back it's it's just been wonderful so those are planted I actually have another one that is a mix of orange yellow and cream color but there is an orange black eyed susan vine that's beautiful too and I'm real partial to orange so this would be it today very simple planting the black eyed susan vines okay I marked them with my old fashioned labels I made myself out of some plastic and covered up with a of a tray of the same size and this goes on my heating mat so thanks so much for watching today on growing the black eyed susan vines i'll keep you updated on how they're doing and probably uh, do an update on as far as how how they're growing and as we go along plant some black eyed susan vines beautiful wonderful plant uh, never have too many problems with it and it's just it's a very popular plant that everybody likes to grow I wanted to show, give you an update on Black Eyed Susan Vines. We got, I've planted several, and I have several coming up here. So they're doing good. I have a few that didn't make it up yet, so I'm hoping they still come. But I, all in all, they did good. And I just wanted to show you what they look like when they're small. Hey, everyone. It's a little, you can hear the fan in here. But I wanted to give you an update. Today's April 19th on the Black Eyed Susan Vines. I believe this one to be the white one. It's actually a cream white. Very pretty. And here's the orange. And as you can see, they really like to vine. You gotta be watching them because they'll just take off and start vining all over the place. But this one here looks real good in the pot right now. I have one back there in the corner. As you can see, they really fill out a pot nice. I'm gonna show you the blushing Susie's up here. And I don't think they're blooming yet, but look at it. It's climbing all the way, it's starting to climb up there, so I gotta get him down and start winding it around the basket. But the Blushing Susie is a beautiful one. These are all from seed. And the ones I do from plugs are the Lemon Star, which is right here. These are very showy, a larger flower, and they do really well in our weather here in the Midwest. So the habit is beautiful on this pot. Look at the white one. It's not a true white, but it's kind of a cream colored white. And I love it because it's got a black eye. Over here is the orange one it's actually a mix combo but look at the habit of the basket I truly think these are just gorgeous the leaf is beautiful and the flowers are just coming these are orange with the black eye gorgeous gorgeous just wait till Mother's Day on them they'll be wonderful so I wanted to show you the update actually it's the same habit it's actually coming down on the pots a little bit more but this is the white one and I dearly love the color isn't that beautiful look at that so I wanted to just give you that update today and to let you know that they've all done really really well here they're all in the greenhouse and they have all started from seed except for the lemon star but I wanted to share that with you today to let you know how well they do do you guys take care and we'll see you soon